Good morning, Bulldogs. Hope you had a great weekend. Please stand for the morning ceremony. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A couple things to go over. First of all, like I said last week, we're coming into the last three weeks of school. Um, there, and then we'll be rolling in the regents exams. Please take the time now to reach out to your teachers. Make sure you're getting all your work in, all your assignments in. Know where you stand in every, every single subject uh, so you get credit in your courses. Um, one error I talked about last week when you're looking at this schedule is Monday the 21st. I mentioned last week that uh, the Spanish 2A exams would take the exam on that day. It's actually it's taking Spanish 1. If you're in Spanish 2A right now, you will not have an exam on that day. All those exams on the 21st through the 24th, uh, there'll be transportation provided. So you'll come in on the bus in the morning and there'll be a bus taking you home at 1040. More to come on that. I want to congratulate Mrs. D'Imperio. She was named 2021 High School Advisor of the Year. That's a national award, uh, so it's a huge, huge honor. Uh, Mrs. D'Imperio has been a student council advisor for 33 years. I've been working with her for over 18 years, and she's been a shining star wherever she's been. Um, she continues to empower our students to not only be uh, the best versions of themselves, uh, but to use their strengths and their passions uh, to have a positive impact on the school, and the entire community. So congratulations to Mrs. D'Imperio. I hope we had a chance to see Little Shop of Horrors over the weekend. Um, it was just a tremendous show. I wanna congratulate everyone that took part in this and participated in this. Um, I don't know what I liked most, uh, but I, I, you know, they got, this, every show was great, but I think what I enjoyed more than anything was watching uh, when the Boomer cast was performing, how the Freshie cast was in the audience cheering them on and vice versa. When the Freshies were up on stage, uh, the boomer cast was in the audience and, you know, supporting them and cheering them on and just watching uh, how you guys realize that you're part of a uh, Livonia tradition that's great and you're part of something bigger than yourselves that was really cool to watch and maybe think of something as i was watching you guys perform over the weekend that there's so many reasons that you want to follow your passion in your life to do things that you love to follow your dreams because when you follow your passions you realize that your time is precious especially your time here in Livonia middle high school it goes by so fast. Just ask the seniors. After that last show Saturday night, there was a lot of tears, a lot of hugs. Um, there was people in the audience, alumni that were here supporting, watching. They all said the same thing. They wish they had another show in them. Um, and it goes by so quick. And you see that with all the senior nights and the sporting events that are coming up right now too. Um, when you follow your passion, it gives you a sense of purpose. It gives you a sense of purpose of why you exist in this building, why you exist in life. Helps you understand that you're part of something bigger and greater than just yourself. That's part of that Livonia tradition I've been talking about. When you follow your passion in life, you'll be happier because you'll be more satisfied with yourself, uh, decisions you make, and you're not going to be weighed down by the common stressors that come along with everyday life. When you follow your passion, even the longest days are worth it. Some of you have been pushing through not one sport, two sports, community activities, and the musical, plus AP exams, other things coming up. Uh, but when you follow your passion, you do what you love. Um, you don't dread those long days. You wake up with energy. You know, it's going to be a challenge, but you're enthusi you have enthusiasm to push through and, 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 and make it through the day. When you follow your passion in life, you'll add more value to the world around you. Because when you're passionate about something, you'll throw yourself into it entirely and end up delivering far more to others than, than others expect you to do. And I saw that a lot on stage this week. Some of you really rose above and did some things that you probably didn't think were pos uh, possible when, when this show started. Um, and you're gonna accomplish new goals, personal bests. So that's very common whenever you pursue something you love doing. And when you follow your passion in life, you naturally become more persistent. It's easy to give up when you're pursuing goals that aren't as meaningful to you. But when you, you love what you do, we push forward and we develop persistence in all areas of our lives. We learn to ignore the naysayers and negativity, which happens. Even the most successful people in life had a lot of naysayers and people that make negative comments towards them. But when you do something you love, you're persistent, you push through. Uh, when you follow your passion in life, it helps to build character. It makes you, it takes true strength and courage to be up there on stage. It takes strength and courage to go after what you love in life, to take risks. But it's only through those risks that you grow, and that'll be fostering developing more stronger character. And why you should follow your passion in life is because when you follow your passion in life, your dreams become a reality. I'll leave you with that quote. Um, 
from Oprah Winfrey. Says, follow your passion. It will lead you to your purpose. Have a good day, Bulldogs. Stay strong.